You finish cleaning the house and there's still some nooks and crannies and cracks you just can't get into. Well, I'm going to solve your problem today with what I think is the mightiest cleaning tool around the house. Hey, it's Scott. Welcome to Around the House with Scott, where I give you tips, tricks, and hacks for better living inside, outside, and around the house every day. Today, I want to talk about something that's crazy, but I call it the Mighty Toothbrush. To me, it's the best unsung hero of the cleaning arsenal that you need to have in your house. The great thing is, they're free because you're just recycling old toothbrushes that you've used in the past. I like to keep kind of a solid bristle one and a soft bristle one. Let's go ahead and talk about just like three possible uses you could have for this around your house, but I bet you you're going to come up with a million different ones on your own. Number one for me is around the kitchen and especially the kitchen sink. There's some little nooks and crannies where my sink meets the countertop that I just cannot for the life of me know how much I scrub get cleaned up. So what I've done is I've partnered my toothbrush with a foaming cleaner with bleach in it. Um, there's generic brands. I use this Clorox one. I just spray this right in the crevice. I let it sit a while and then I get my toothbrush in there and give it a nice little scrub. Make sure I've got a white t-shirt on though. You don't want to bleach on your clothes. And let it sit a while, maybe 15, 20 minutes, come back. And I'm going to tell you, I spray it off and it is like it was never dirty. It's shiny, shiny, shiny white. Here's another way to hit a home run with my favorite cleaning tool, the toothbrush. It's the nooks and crannies in and around light switches. No matter how much we clean and dust those, there's going to be little areas that you just cannot get into with anything else. The toothbrush is an amazing way to do this. I keep it dry, and what I'll also do is I'll spray a little spritz of Lysol cleaner on there, and then get everything where it meets the wall, every little area of that, I will do a cleaning. I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes, then I'll take a clean tissue, wipe it all down, and then I know this light switch is not only looking clean, but it is sanitized. Here's my third spot. It's in the bathroom. Let's face it, we don't like talking toilets, but they're a spot which we want to keep especially clean. I love my toothbrush. I love my Lysol. I've already sprayed it. And here's just an example on my toilet. Just some of these little nooks and crannies right in here that are really tough to get. Any little spot where there's a corner, there's an edge, you can see there's a little moisture from that Lysol. It's just going to dry on there. We're going to be sanitized and clean in those hard to reach spots in the bathroom. Hey, here's a bonus tip. I want you to think of the toothbrush as an addition to your dusting arsenal. Whether it's picture frames, base moldings, or here, like in this piece of furniture, you can see there's just a little crevice here. I used to use a Q-tip, but I found the toothbrush works so nice. A soft bristle brush is very gentle on the wood, and man, it gets right into those crevices and keeps it dust free. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found value in it. If so, please share it. Give me your thoughts and comments, and do subscribe to my channel for more tips, tricks, hacks with Around the House with Scott. Thanks for watching.